The healthcare detective Frank Lally has written a book for Simon & Schuster about how to get affordable health care called Your Best Health Care Now. It is available online, in-store, wherever fine books are sold. Mr. Lally is also the health correspondent for Parade, the former editor of Money and George Magazines, a senior advisor to healthcare.com, and he is now doing some work, some consolidation work, I'm going to call it, for Women's World. Is it Women's mm-hmm. World or Woman's World? It's Woman's World. For Women's yeah, World. Woman's world. Um, yeah. uh, so we're going to take advantage of the fact that he's working away on that and uh, um, and uh, have a radio show. So, <laughs> hi, Frank. How are you? <laughs> I'm okay. I'm fine. You see in the supermarket, uh, they do standalone publications as well as their regular magazine. And essentially what they would asked me to do is take my book, which I have to say – is a pretty good book. Uh, that's the one that's available like, online, in store, wherever fine books are sold. Correct. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Okay. Uh, your best healthcare now, and it covers uh, it covers how to navigate our lousy uh, healthcare system. Uh, we got great doctors, but we got a lousy system. And it uh, so they've asked me essentially to take the book and boil it down into this special publication. That's what I'm working on right now. And so here's here's one little chapter that I'll, uh, I'll share with the readers, uh, and it's full of tips about the questions you should ask before you fill a prescription, before you fill it. Okay, so let's start with the doctors. We'll see how far we get um, with questions for doctors, then we might move on to insurers and, and uh, pharmacists, and if we don't cover it all today, we'll, we'll follow up and do it in, uh, next week. So with your doc, let's start with this. Why are you prescribing this specific drug. Now, your your doctor should have a very good idea of exactly why he wants you to take that specific uh, prescription. He should be able to explain it in plain English. And here's the important part. He should be able to tell you when you expect to experience the benefits of it. So let's take, there's a common uh, urinary tract um, infection f- among women. There's a pill you take uh, and, and you get relief within two or three days. That's very important information because first off, why would you automatically get 14-day supply, let alone a 30-day supply? I mean, I have many doctors that I've gone to just automatically, uh, when they fill a prescription, fill 30 days. Well, what's the use of 30 days if you've got a pill that's supposed to work in a couple of days? So let's start off with a seven-day prescription, doctor, and save me some money. Furthermore, now I know I'm supposed to feel better within three days, four at the most. If I'm not feeling better, that's important. You should call your doctor and say, hey, this pill is not working for me. What should we do next? So you're wasting money if the pill doesn't work for you and you're putting your health at, at risk. You don't have to wait the full uh, period of time with this drug if it's supposed to work within three days. Don't work 14 or even a week, right? Call your doc and he'll help you. All right, or she'll help you, I hope. All right, another question, very related. Why this specific dosage? Now, generally, and maybe listeners have experienced this, generally, prices of drugs are just about the same no matter what the dosage is. But I've come across cases where the difference between one dose and another was $800 or four dollars. <laughs> as, okay. ma- as a matter that's of a, fact, um, and, and that's I don't, a big difference. As a matter of fact, you, you did a show on that once, and it was a, it had to do with the Walmart or CVS, and it was a dosage. It was a literal yeah. dosage thing, and yeah. and I wonder, does Good RX, which is being advertised all over the place, does that play into dosage amounts, or is that just the no, the no, no. You drug can check. itself. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You can check. Yeah, uh, good. R- good RX is a place to go uh, to check prices, and they've got coupons. It's a very good site. I know the guy who, uh, the founder and, and uh, president, he's a good guy named Doug Hirsch. Um, yeah, that's a that's a good. Good RX is a very good place to to check. You don't necessarily buy it there. You might, but you certainly want to check. Um, and then you know, here's the other important part about dosage. It depends on the insurance company. They will approve one dose for the same drug and not approve another. So you're not in their formulary. That's a fancy word for approved drug list. If you're not in the formulary with that dosage, you pay full price. They don't put up a dime, okay? I just had an experience, not only dosage, but the form that the drug is delivered. 
So there's a common uh, muscle relaxer called tanzenidine. Um, Carol and I have taken it from time to time, but it's good to have around the house just in case you're, you got a tweak in your back. Uh, so all of a sudden, so I need a refill. So I call my doctor, he refills it. Guess what? CVS over in Militant calls me up and says, uh, sorry, but, uh, that's not approved. Uh, you can, we will fill it, but you, you, it would cost you $123. That didn't make sense to me. So I picked up the phone. I called my insurer. And I said, hey, what's going on? And they said, well, yeah, that, that's not in, that is not in our form, formulary. It is not approved. And you have to pay full price. But here's the difference. What was not in the formulary was the capsule. What was in the formulary was the tablet. So I said, hey, okay, I'll call my doctor back. I'll have the tablet. What, you know what the tablet cost me? six dollars for 30 days as opposed to 123 dollars for the capsule okay it's nuts but that's a fact that just happened to me last week uh, here's another thing that i came across actually i came across it today uh, a story in the new york times people on medicare right a lot of our listeners are don't bother to check their formularies or anything else as a matter of fact Year to year. And, and so you've got a Part D plan, your drug plan, you like it, whatever. It's, it's convenient. Uh, it's inexpensive. Okay. That formulary is changing constantly. So if you don't check it before you renew it, you can find yourself in the middle of the year facing, I'm sorry, it is not in a formulary. You owe us full price on that. And there is no difference between capsule or, or, uh, or tablet in your case. Sorry. You're stuck. And this is the 60 to 65 percent of Medicare beneficiaries do not bother to check year to year before they renew their policies. Half of those people, better than half, could get better care and save money, too. So this is just a word you've got until December 7th. Uh, anybody still shopping Medicare? Uh, and even if you shopped it, make one more phone call and make sure you ask questions like, hey, I just want to be very, very clear. Is my drug on the, the formulary? And, and, and if not, is there an alternative that, that would work for me? Or should I find another plan? Okay. So I, I really wanted to share that with our, our listeners, Joe. No, I think that's incredibly helpful because uh, I, I, I am certain. I'm not, I'm, I'm not certain that the 80% is, uh, is uh, uh, high enough. For people yeah. to actually, you know, you know, because there there gets to be a level of detail that uh, you know most people just can't cope. So yeah, I think that's I think that's true. I mean, there's something you know, a person shopping Medicare now, you're gonna you're gonna be faced with about fifty alternatives. So it's daunting for people. They figure, oh man, I can never figure that out. Well. You can figure it. You can get help to figure it out. And, and I've mentioned this before. Via Benefits, V-I-A. Look it up. Website. There's a telephone number there. Call them up. They're Medicare specialists. They'll take your business and they'll point you in the right direction and it, at no cost to you. So if you don't do anything else, Via Benefits. You can also call 1-800-MEDICARE and get guidance from 1-800-MEDICARE. That's a simple phone call to make, too. Please don't sign up for a Medicare plan that you have not checked out and compared or had uh, help comparing with others. There are independent brokers who will do that too at no charge to you because they collect from the, uh, from the insurer. All right, another idea for your, for your doctor. This is an important one, Jill. Can I split this pill in half or take it every other day and save 50%? Now, I've done this in the past and I've done it for years when I, when I was forced to take uh, very expensive specialty drugs for my blood cancer that cost $12,000 a month, nuts. Um, so at least if I took it every other day, uh, we, we save 6,000 bucks on it. Um, uh, so, so anyway, yeah, that's the question. Now, again, you cannot do this and never do this unless you get an explicit okay from your doctor. But ideally, here's how it works. So there's a drug called Lipitor. I'm sure people are very familiar with it. Here's the pricing. Uh, if you want 40 milligrams, most doctors will recommend around 40. So if you want a 40-day supply, a 40-milligram supply for 30 days, that'll cost you 35 bucks. 
If you want an 80 milligram supply for 30 days, that'll cost you, wait for it, $36, okay? So logically, why wouldn't you get a prescription for the 80 milligram, cut it in half or take it every other day, you're getting your 40 milligram uh, dosage and, and it should be able to control um, your cholesterol. So again, but let me warn you, and I've done this with very expensive drugs, but let me warn you, never, 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 never cut that pill in half without checking with your doctor to make sure that you're not putting your health in jeopardy. Never put your health in jeopardy uh, to save a couple of bucks. That's the best advice I could give anyone. Um, another logic, how much time we got, Joe? A couple more? Yeah, three minutes. <laughs> okay, we got plenty of time. All right. All right. This I think a lot of people ask, but but do it every time. Is there a low cost generic available? Okay. Now, brand name drugs cost roughly four times as much as generics. And what are generics? Generic is a copy. It's an it has the same active ingredient. It is just as safe. It is just as effective. The FDA approves it, okay? You take an FDA-approved generic, you are getting a copy as effective as the brand name, and you're not paying four times as much, okay? So so that makes sense. With Crestor, that's a very common drug, that's three times the difference between Crestor and the generic that I take. Why not save the money? Here's the other part of that. You ask your doctor, and a lot of people don't do this. They just ask once, is there a generic? The doctor says, no, I'm sorry, there's no generic. Keep asking because the FDA, and this is, I just looked this up, Jill. The FDA is approving three new generics every day. <laughs> so if your medicine that you're taking for some sort of chronic uh, condition, if it's not on, uh, it's not a generic for it today, there's a chance it'll be, uh, there'll be a generic for it later in the year. <laughs> okay. So keep asking. Another important question with your doc, you say, hey, is there a manufacturer's discount card you can hand me? <laughs> okay. So, you know, the, in the crazy system, we have big pharma has all these salesmen. They go around to the doctors. They leave off samples. They leave off discount cards. And then the doctor sticks it in his drawer and half the time forgets about it. Uh, but if you have a discount card, you can take a drug, and I've had this in my experience, where it's a $90 regular drug, okay, for $10 with a discount card. Now, it's a limited time on the discount card, but it's 10 bucks a month, not 90 This allows you to sample it and see if it works for you. Now, what the drug company is hoping is that they can hook you. <laughs> you take it at $10, say, hey, I really like this drug. And then, of course, in a couple of months, it goes up to 90 and they've got you as a customer forever and ever. Uh, on the consumer's point of view, I can at least sample it. Is it worth $90? So I took a discount card, um, actually to testosterone. I tried it a couple of years ago. I tried it for a couple of months at 10 bucks. I thought it was whatever. It was fine, but it was, I don't think it was doing anything for me that was worth 90 bucks a month. So I just sampled it and, and moved on. Okay. Uh, so it worked, it worked both ways. They didn't get to hook me and I got to sample it. Another very important question. Doctor, do you have any free samples of the drug? <laughs> An actual sample of it. Again, his cabinet may be full of it. Again, my experience when I was really having trouble with my back and I needed a non-addictive painkiller uh, to keep it under control. And I mentioned that the non-addictive painkiller I was taking uh, was costing me $20 per tablet. And this so offended my doctor that he went to his cabinet and he grabbed a whole bunch of free samples for the exact same drug. And then he went back and grabbed more. And I walked out of his office and I'm not exaggerating, Jill. I walked out of his office with thousands of dollars of this non-addictive painkiller just for asking. In fact, I still have some. <laughs> and in fact, and we're out of time, but I'm going to say, in fact, I remember this because we did another show on this just when we were doing the book. And it was so compelling that, that your doctor was able to reach into his, I mean, t talk about a bag of tricks. 
not not in a bad way and 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 give you enough to absolutely make a difference and simply because you mentioned it and i try to teach everybody you know everyone coming up just well just ask you don't know unless you ask yeah. so i mean the worst thing are? you can say is oh the worst i don't have thing any you can say is no sorry about but you may instead say hold out your hands i got a pack of them for you <laughs> bring in the hand cart all right <laughs> Thank you, Frank, the healthcare okay. detective and senior advisor to healthcare.com. Send your questions or concerns about finding affordable healthcare to healthcare detective at robinhoodradio.com. Frank will try to address as many of your questions as he can on future broadcasts. Also, look for his book, Your Best Healthcare Now, available online, in store, on my desk.